Hello, my name is Terry. Today we're going to take apart the Folger Adams uh, 80 series prison lock or detention lock or jail lock, whatever you want to call it. It's actually a lever lock. Uh, sometimes you'll hear it called the tumblers, but the proper name, it's a lever lock, it's a detention lock. And this is the 80 series. And you can tell it's the, uh, the Folger Adams. And uh, it's a good heavy duty lock. Considered high use for this is 50 turns a day and then every six months it should be lubed. Uh, they recommend taking it apart and lubing it. Uh, I know a lot of times they just sort of spray some lube in it. Uh, don't put oil in this. We'll talk about the maintenance and the servicing in detail later, but this is just a quick overview of the uh, Folger Adams a paracentric lock, a key lock, and this one's a double cylinder, so it's keyed on both sides. Some of them are keyed on one side only, and these are handed right hand and left hand, so you have to know that. So we're gonna take it apart, it's pretty simple. Uh, once you get it off the door, it's simple, but uh, it's just remove the screw here. The most important thing is, as you, if, if you've never pulled it apart or you're pulling apart it for the first time, uh, the cover comes off quite nicely. And you can see in here, this is the cylinder, these are the levers, the springs. The locks are heavy duty. They last, you know, really, really well. Uh, the, the thing is, it's the abuse that they're put on. Sometimes you'll find it's just full of garbage. Uh, the inmates, prisoners, whatever, uh, fill it full of garbage. The locks are meant to handle that. Uh, very little uh, things go wrong. Uh, what we found is lockouts is uh, the springs break and there's an easy way to repl re re replace the spring. Uh, usually it's just something, obstructions, you know, foreign material put inside. Uh, when you're working on these, this is a clean lock and it's being rebuilt. You should wear gloves because you never know what's inside of this. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, and they should be, sometimes you have to decontaminate the locks. Again, we'll cover all that in the maintenance schedule on this. This is just show you the basics on pulling it apart. So the, uh, the blueprints call these the tumbler pack. Uh, they're really levers, and uh, you can see what happens when you put the key in. Everything's lined up, and the bolt is retracted. You know, uh, again, you sh we'll talk about the maintenance on these. This is just to show you how to pull it apart, basically. When you're working on it for the first time, the most important thing is lay everything out as you as you pull it out, exactly as it comes out. Don't get them backwards. Don't flip them. Now this is a uh, five, five levers in this one. Uh, some of them are six. Uh, and again, it's a double cylinder. Again, this just pulls out and they're different for the keyways for the different prisons and everything. And this is the bolt. So again, very simple to work on. You just have to pull everything out in order as you go so you know when you put it back together again. You're not going to have a problem. And you can see how. So very little can go wrong. And like I say, we'll cover the, uh, never, and again, never put oil in it. We'll cover that in the maintenance, what sort of oil to put in. And again, now we're going to put it back together again. It's very, very simple. You know, just put in each lever again. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're, they're worn. You put a new lever pack in them. You can order it from the factory if you have a wafer, a lever kit. Again, even if you're working on these for the first time, or this is the hundredth time, basically, just follow it in order. You can check it to make sure you've done, make sure your levers are correct. Pretty, pretty simple. Let's put it back to here. Let's go out to me.
So again, pretty simple lock to pull apart. You just got to take your time. So we're going to talk about uh, common lockouts, uh, malfunctions, though rare, they do happen, and some of the biggest problems we have uh, with uh, obstructions put in, how to clear it, how to get the door open uh, in uh, when you can't, when the lock jams up. And again, these are good heavy duty and very similar to all the other uh, styles of uh, uh, detention locks out there. Uh, this is a good basic lock here. Very good, very heavy duty, very well made.